Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the R3 ECE Double Top Grand Auditorium from Rathbone Guitars. This cutaway electroacoustic model features laminated ebony back and sides and a double top consisting of a layer of carbon fibre sandwiched between two layers of ebony. It also has a mahogany neck which is topped with a rosewood fingerboard with a 25.5 inch scale length and a 42mm bone nut. The guitar is finished in a gloss lacquer, comes with a Bellcat 3 band EQ preamp with built in tuner and it has an RRP of £545. Let's have another listen to some playing on the R3 ECE now and then please join me afterwards for my thoughts. This is a striking looking guitar with some impressive striping on the ebony top, back and sides. The unstained wood binding and back strip frame the guitar well, although I wish they'd also used this material to bind the sound hole rather than using plastic. The build quality seems very good, with the only negative being that the corners of the saddle are a little sharp, but it's obviously a guitar built by a company that knows what it's doing. Although the Rathbone name might not be familiar to all viewers, the company behind the brand, Barnes & Mullins, are a well-respected distributor both here in the UK and abroad. Being a relatively large-bodied guitar, I was expecting a bass-dominant tone and was surprised by the balanced sound produced. I don't know if it's the double-top construction, but I was struck at how even the response was across the tonal range, with both low and high notes presented with a lot of pop and presence. The balance between fundamental and overtone seems well controlled and full chords in the low range of the guitar aren't troubled by dominant frequencies or muddiness. Personally, I prefer a little more character going on in the bass, but those players wanting a balanced and controlled tone, well, this would suit them just perfectly. Unfortunately, I found the pickup to be less balanced and controlled than the unplugged sound, Regular viewers will know I'm at best indifferent when it comes to undersaddles anyway, but I found the pickup included here to have a very strident tone that completely overemphasised the upper mids and highs. The included notch filter seems to be too wide in its Q factor and takes out way too much around the frequency when dialed in, and having the bright control anywhere other than at its lowest setting caused piercing brittleness. I'm really sorry Rathbone, but I think this preamp might need a redesign. Turning to playability, I felt that factory action is a tiny bit on the high side for my liking, but there's plenty of saddle left for individual adjustments. The neck is a pretty safe feeling slim C shape that many players will get along with, and the guitar plays cleanly and smoothly across the entire range of the fretboard. At £545, this guitar seems fairly priced given the current market. 
Although there are some all solid wood guitars available at this price point, I don't think that they would give you the evenness of attack and tone that the double top construction seems to give the R3. I've enjoyed the Rathbone R3 ECE's balanced tone and sense of pop to the notes. I think it's an attractive guitar and with a slight tweak to the action to bring it more to my preferred specs, it'd be an enjoyable player that handles picking and strumming duties well. However, I'm not a fan of the included pickup and I think it does spoil the guitar somewhat for me so to sum up, plugged in I'm not a fan but unplugged I think the R3 ECE has a lot to offer. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be kept up to date when we post new videos and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.